So what we've got here is a mushroom rice, a few little spices in there. I've also got some raisins in there, fennel seeds, cardamom, chili, turmeric, wonderful stuff. Okay, so let's get started by talking about our rice. Now, I've got basmati rice, which is cooked, and I recommend you use cold rice. I actually cooked this rice yesterday. It's been in the fridge. Hot and warm rice, I don't think works so well. Cold rice always works a lot better. I'm using three cups of cooked rice for each of these. So this one is really beautiful and simple. We've got our cooked rice, three cups. I've got 200 grams of white mushrooms. You can cut them how you like actually. One cup of onion, one tablespoon of garlic, one teaspoon each of turmeric, chili powder and coriander powder. Two teaspoons there of fennel seeds, which I think are really lovely in this. You could use cumin seeds if you want. And then four whole green cardamom pods. Let's get moving. So you're gonna need a frying pan or a wok or something like that, like I have. I've got some oil in there. I'm just using a canola oil. Into that we put the green cardamom and the fennel seeds. In goes the onion, the tablespoon of garlic, and you can hear and see we're on a high heat. We're gonna go for three minutes, keep it moving. Now we're gonna add the mushrooms, 200 grams. Cut however you like, big or small. Mine are fairly large. Stay on this high heat. Let's add some black pepper and some salt. Keep it moving about another three minutes. Fantastic stuff. Let's now add our powders. Turmeric, coriander, and chili powder. Then we're gonna add our three cups of cooked cold basmati rice. And we really need to fry this rice now it's gonna take four or five minutes on a high heat. Keep it moving. If I get a little blackening or browning of the rice, I'm super happy. Really fantastic. Off goes the heat. I'm now gonna add a nice handful of raisins. Or you could put some sultanas in if you want. It's nice sweetness in there with that rice. A fresh herb like cilantro or coriander, whatever you call it, could work. But for me, that's beautiful. This mushroom rice is done. And there it is, beautiful. Mushroom rice, cardamom, fennel seeds, those sultanas or raisins in the, at the end. Fabulous. Really, really good. I love that one. Okay, so this time up here, we've got potato rice. I really love this one. We've got cumin, paprika, chili, oregano, garlic, onions, fantastic. Okay, so with this one, again, the same amount of rice, three cups of cold cooked basmati rice. 
I've got some potatoes here, about the same in volume. These are cooked, so I peeled them, brought them to the boil. They're still a little bit hard, but you know, they're pretty much on their way, sort of 80% cooked. One cup of onion, one cup of bell pepper, one tablespoon of garlic, and then here I've got two teaspoons of these ones. Cumin, paprika, chili, and oregano. Now be very careful with paprika, it usually comes in three varieties. You're gonna get sweet, which is what that is, smoked, which is delicious, and hot. But be careful with the hot one because you'll be basically putting two lots of chili in. That's about it. We're going to start us off with a little bit of olive oil and just a couple of other things, but it's delicious and easy, this one. So I've got my wok or pan here, some olive oil in there. Simply, we're going to drop in our potatoes first. So 80% cooked. Salt and black pepper now. And on an above medium heat, a little bit more black pepper. Let's fry these around for four minutes. Okay, that's just four minutes. Got a little bit of color on them, nothing too much. Very simply, we're gonna add that one onion or one cup of onions, one tablespoon of garlic, and we're gonna keep going for about another three minutes. Fabulous. Next up, we're gonna drop in that bell pepper. That's a bit of color. I mean, I'm using green, you can use a different color if you want. Or you could maybe put some sweet corn in or something like that. Then we're gonna add our spices. One more look, shall we? Two teaspoons each of paprika. I'm using sweet, chili powder, oregano, and cumin. All that goes in. Stay with me. Now, three cups of cooked Basmati rice, cold. About four or five minutes. Keep it moving now. We're nearly done. Off goes the heat. Check it for salt. It's gonna be great for me. If you wanted, you could add some cilantro or coriander, whatever you call that. But yeah, I'm happy just like that, beautiful. Really, really delicious, that one, I like that. I mean, I love potatoes, that's why. Simple as can be, like I say, if you wanna you know, exchange the bell peppers for something else, some carrots, zucchini, eggplant, anything like that you like, you can do so. And yeah, be careful with the paprika. Smoked paprika, by the way, is really delicious. If you can get that, try it in there. Fabulous. Let's make another one. Okay, so our third rice, we're gonna do tomato rice. Really lovely, we've got some cardamom, cumin and coriander in this one, fantastic. So once again, we've got the rice, cooked basmati rice, cold, there's three cups. Two tomatoes, 135 grams of tomato paste, you know, one of those little kind of tetra pack things. One cup or one onion sliced, one tablespoon of garlic, two teaspoons of cumin seeds, and one teaspoon each of cardamom powder, 
coriander and cumin. Let's get moving. Okay, so back at our wok or skillet, whatever you've got there. I've got some oil in there. I'm using some canola oil. I've just put the heat on. We're gonna drop in our cumin seeds and just for a few seconds, let them do their thing in the oil. Don't skip this. This will really infuse the oil with the seeds. Just a few seconds. We're on an above medium heat, by the way. And then simply we're gonna drop in that one onion or one cup of onions. I've sliced mine. If you want, you could cut them smaller. We're then gonna add the one tablespoon of garlic. And we're gonna stir this around for about three minutes. So the onions are just slightly cooking. And at this point, we're gonna add our fresh tomato. Two average size tomatoes there. Gonna add some salt and some black pepper. And then I'm gonna cook these for about five minutes. I want them to really break down. So maybe five or six minutes give it a stir every now and then. We may even get a little bit of moisture from it depending on how ripe your tomatoes are. Okay, so as you can see, these tomatoes are really starting to break down, which is where we want them to be. We're now gonna add one teaspoon cardamom powder, cumin powder, and coriander powder. You can hear on a fairly vibrant high heat. Okay, we're now going to add that 135 grams of the tomato paste, which, like I said, is one of those little tetra pack things. And we need to cook this for about four to five minutes. Stay on this high heat and keep it moving. We really need to cook out the tomato paste needs to really cook. See you in a few minutes. Okay, we're gonna turn the heat down now to just below medium. Look, that's what I'm talking about, one of those little kind of sized fellas, you know. We're gonna get our rice, three cups of the cooked rice. And we're going to gently fold this in on this medium heat, or just below medium heat actually, for about three or four minutes. Okay, off goes the heat cilantro or coriander, whatever you may call that. One more little mix and that's done. It's really beautiful. And there you go, absolutely fabulous. So this is our third rice that we've done. We've done the mushroom with fennel seeds. We've done the potato rice. We've now done this tomato rice. Let's do one more. So for our final rice today, we're gonna do curry leaf rice. This is super, super easy. I've got mustard oil in this, very pungent. Curry leaves, very pungent. There's not a lot else going on in it, to be honest. Really simple and delicious. Okay, so we're gonna round it off with this last one. It's very, very simple. We're gonna make some curry leaf rice. So again, three cups of rice, cold basmati cooked, one tablespoon of garlic ginger paste, 
one cup or one onion roughly sliced cut it small if you want i've got about half a cup here of fresh curry leaves we're going to start this off with some oil we're going to be using today some mustard oil in this one it's really really easy this one so i've got my oil in there like i said i'm using that mustard oil which gives it another really sort of strong flavor if you haven't got mustard oil you could maybe use something different but what we're going to do is the heat's on the, that's in the oil's in and we're dropping in the fresh curry leaves and then straight away we're going to drop in the onion the garlic ginger some salt and we're going to go for about three minutes on quite a high heat Fantastic. Very simply now we're going to grab our rice, our cold cooked basmati rice, three cups, and we're going to go for about four minutes, staying on the high heat, and we've done it. This one's so, so simple, but delicious. Okay, off goes the heat. So, so easy, but really pungent smells and aromas coming from the mustard oil and the curry leaves. Really tasty. And there you go. That's our last one. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. so much for checking out our videos really really do appreciate it we're busy as ever we're pumping out pumping out some fantastic food well we think it's fantastic so chef june's got his own channel now please check that out he's doing great guns on there all in togalo some fantastic food he's making rahel's doing her armaric channel which has been going on for some years now and she's doing great but please check it out if you want to know about Ethiopian food, although it is all in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. Uh, the vegan channel is doing okay. Could do with a bit of help actually, so pop over there and uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We're doing fine. We're still here in Bahrain at the moment. It's very hot, as you could imagine. But yeah, happy as can be. Now, if you'd like to help the channel out, uh, you could uh, buy us a coffee, or there's a little link will pop up now maybe, or something will pop up or something. But yeah, if you want to support the channel, that would help us out a great deal. Really, really appreciate all of you sending messages and follow us you know, on a regular basis. We love you all. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.